Welcome to All Things HTLT. We are here because our faith is a priority and leading teens closer to Christ is our mission. We are sinners striving to be perfect and giving all glory to God on the way. You are welcome to join us on this adventure we call life. So turn up your volume and make sure you're in a perfect place to enjoy this next episode of All Things HTLT. We have three awesome new personalities. Christian is back. Hello. Alongside a familiar face, Jenna. What up, everybody? And a new face, my wife, Stacy. Hello, hello. So y'all are in for a treat today. We are going to be talking about aliens, extraterrestrial beings, and so much more. So Bigfoot and uh, mermaids, mermen, all that kind of good stuff. Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster. All of that. All that kind of stuff. So I just kind of want to just jump right on into it. So do aliens exist? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Oh my goodness. (laughs) Talk to me. Why? What's your proof? Okay. Well, back in high school, I was a senior. Took psychology. I had a teacher that was um, a vet from the army, something like that. But he would always tell us, oh, yeah, I've been to Area 51. Uh, And we're like, okay, tell us more. And he's like, no, sorry, that's classified. And we're like, okay, then why are you going to tell us if it's classified? He's like, let's just say I've seen some things and I'm here to tell you aliens are real. And we're like, what? Like our minds were like so fascinated. what grade is this? Senior year. How old was the teacher? The, oh, I know. that's what I was. He was like eighteen. I don't know. No, 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 no. He's he was like um, I don't know, maybe like early fifties. Okay, awesome. I love yeah. how you guys like totally believe this guy right off the bat. No, okay, but like what subject? It was psychology, but he was uh, he was first math. like a history, like fishing auto. Like he was like really into detail with history, so he told us. And then someone else told me about Area 51. I forget who, but they were like they told me some stuff about it. We should just go. Did you hear about the group like on Facebook? <gasps> yeah, that was supposed to rush March Area. F- we should yeah. do that. September, Area 51. It was September 20th of 2009. They were like all wanting to rush, and there were two million people <laughs> that, were that down. said yes. Yeah. I mean, they can't shoot all two million people and that's, down. That, so that's what the Facebook said, you yeah. know. And he's like, "I made it as a joke," and like they took it really serious. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so what's your proof? What's your alien proof? What I mean, I, I think that it's a big universe what? and that it would be like kind of like very surprising if we were the only like living beings, even if we're like, even if we're just the only intelligent life. I do think that there is some sort of like other source of life like out organisms there. Organisms of yeah. any sort, yeah. At, le- at least, at least that, like at least like plants. Because there's something, yeah. because there's, but if there's plants. I mean, do you believe in evolution? Yeah. Okay. So if there's plants, if there's microorganisms, can't they evolve? Does well, yeah, but maybe else? maybe if we find it, they haven't reached that point yet. Mm, interesting. Stacy, mm. how about you? I'm just like, why not? Why not believe in aliens? Ooh. I don't, know. I don't well, need proof. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Optimistic. Please over, <laughs> over here. I am an alien. <laughs> Um, do you guys think aliens have been here before? Yes. yes. Probably. Ooh, oh, yes. Talk to me about it. You guys can't just say yes with nothing okay, behind you it. You know the corn mazes? You Have you guys seen the theories okay. with the corn mazes? What, the movie Signs? I yeah. think <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I, I just, no, they have to be here. Like, every once in a while, they must do a flyover, you know, and they're like little UFO, like, oh, when we see here. them, are they cloaking? No, okay, what, yeah, what well, if they're cloaking, we don't see them, or if it's at night and it goes super fast and we think it's an airplane, but actually, Ooh, it's a UFO. So, did you guys know the Pentagon released, you Yeah, know, like, were, the files? They said that there were. Yeah. They, they said they? that there were, there yeah. were, un, there were UFOs, yeah. unidentified foreign objects. Wait, when was this? This was, like, a few months ago. A few months ago, ago yeah. Oh, I wait, have, I think I remember seeing it. I I was it, like, it. a video of there it flying video. super fast? Yeah, here it is. You guys want to see it? Yeah, let's watch it. Sure. So you guys can kind of see. Oh, yeah. So there's like in the air this object, and I'm not gonna pull the the sound because they they cuss in it and everything. But they're they're watching this unidentified object oh, that's yeah, flying yeah, yeah. through the air, literally. And he's like, "Is that a drone? It's got to be a drone." And it's like hovering like through the air. I don't know. I'm telling you. I don't know. They're out there. They come to visit us. They have to. But then why wouldn't they hurt us or do like alien invasion like Maybe you they see feel on TV? Bad. 
Oh. Maybe they feel bad. Maybe they, their empathy is yeah, like I've super seen, high. Or maybe they're trying where it's to learn like, about us. Yeah, I've seen something where it's like where it's like maybe we haven't made contact because we're still like they don't see us as like a peaceful people because yeah. we're we're fighting with each other so often. That's true. Um, and also, I wonder sometimes what if it's like a Superman situation oh or like my something gosh. landed. And it's like, it like looks like us, but it's not. Checking out, checking us out and stuff. Yeah. That's what, you know, some people kind of say is like that they are here and they're living like men in yeah. black, like yeah. almost. <gasps> like, oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's oh like, they're gosh. like living amongst us kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so just to give everybody kind of the perspective, a uh, correct perspective right away of kind of what the church teaches on aliens and extraterrestrials. Uh, the church has no official teachings on all right we and get so to believe they, in aliens <laughs> they give it to us to be uh free to speculate away on kind of aliens and things along those lines um so yeah with that being said you can kind of freely look at aliens but i wanted to if you guys can even like look at different pictures online and different things so w- when you think of an alien what do you think of like what does an alien look like if it's not looking like us I mean, I think we're good looking compared to what <laughs> I think aliens would look like. So it's like made in the image of God. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. They look. I I have a feeling they look creepy. But what do they look like to you? Like in your head? I don't know. Just a creepy version of a human, like mm. different. I don't know. Like gray or green color skin. Yeah. yeah. Big old eyes, big old head, because they're probably smarter head. than us. So let me show you this picture. So oh my gosh. All the Egyptians, <gasps> where they were the Egyptians. Oh, I see. How, yeah, so how the Egyptians make their statues and everything. You know, and everybody knows like that, that myth of like, or I don't know if it's a myth or whatever, but they helped build the pyramids, you know, yeah. the Egyptians and stuff. Aliens mm-hmm. helped. Um, and so they make these statues with these elongated heads, like, of people. Um, and so when they started, like, going through kind of older bodies of, uh, people that were exhumed and things like these Egyptian emperors, some of them had longer heads, and so interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this is one wait of them. what? So it's interesting to kind of look at of like what these aliens are doing. So Stephen Hawkins is he he is famously before he passed away said that if aliens did exist and they reached out to us for us not to respond. What would you guys do? If aliens came down, like, don't think Independence Day, don't think, like, <laughs> all of this, what do you do? Gosh, I would avoid them. Like, I really don't understand why we keep trying to look for life at other planets. Because I'm just like, are you kidding? They would come and, and destroy rain. us. Yeah, easily. Literally. Like, in the snap of a finger. So, I figure, just leave the universe alone. Stop trying to find people because... Yeah. I just have a feeling it would not go well for us. But what if they had yeah. something? Like, what if they had... What if they needed our help? Yeah. Okay, first, if they needed our help, I would send Elon Musk <laughs> to go help them first. <laughs> Elon okay. Musk is an alien. Uh, you oh, never yeah. know, okay? Here's He's... our smartest guy. Well, that's crazy, go. though, because yeah. he has... Did you see that what he had just announced, the Neuralink thing? No. Yeah. So it's something that you... I think it's like... on. It's either... I think it's on top of your head, and you can, like, connect it to your phone and stuff like that from your brain. No way. Uh, yeah. I'm no telling thanks. you, I would send him first to go check it out, go do some scope and see what it is. That's probably why he made SpaceX. Thank you. Thank you. I I don't know. I don't know if I would send one of our best and then we'd be like we'd lose out. Oh, but <laughs> what would... if they're what if the aliens are like, thank you for sending your best, like we need the smartest person to help okay, us. Okay, so you got a fifty fifty shot here. <laughs> <laughs> you got the founder of SpaceX yeah. and then I don't know. I, I, I talking even about that, like the the brain thing and yeah. nanotechnology that they input, you know, things in your blood yeah. system or, you, you know, they tag us or whatever. I don't know about that. That's that stuff is a little bit sketchy. I wouldn't yeah, get I it. I wouldn't get that. Because either. think about your phone of how much like is monitored on your phone. You look up something on the internet and it's like instantly comes up mm-hmm. on your feed on Instagram. And or you talk and then it just pops up. Yeah. They're yeah. listening. That's why I'm going to do an experiment. Miniature golf. So if anybody's phone is listening <laughs> for miniature golf. Oh my back gosh. on the aliens. So <laughs> aliens, if they did exist, um, what... I'm, I'm kind of relating this to theology. How would our theology change? Or would it change? Or could we... Oh my goodness. That would throw such a curveball into like theologians really hands because 
they would have to well i guess you could always go back to everything living is has dignity and worth oh. but i feel like they would have such a hard time placing them in i don't know our timeline oh like, that's true why our timeline because it's all we know i mean i guess if aliens shared i don't know their evolution history and what if christ hasn't come to them yet listen i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh wow that's, what, see, talking about that, that's what i'm Tell saying theologians off. would have a hard time because it would it would be like what does this mean yeah. then well, i mean they could compare notes <laughs> compare <laughs> notes oh. it's like scribble 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 yeah. and then our alphabet this is our yeah. salvation history let's hear yours yeah. and, and like, compare we don't have any right now well, think about it. So somebody, wanted, I wanted to kind of give you guys, um, I did a little bit of research. Um, so Father Jose Gabriel Funes, who's the head of the observatory um, that's in Arizona, based out in Tucson, Arizona, which is Vatican's like biggest observatory, oh. um, which I didn't know. Uh, he took over as the head in Arizona for two, in 2006, and he denied that the existence of other intelligent life forms would contradict Christian belief. The Vatican has is one of the oldest astronomical institutions in the world. Um, so he says, as there exists many creatures on Earth, Earth, so there could be many other creatures, also intelligent, created by God. He said this doesn't contradict our faith because we cannot put into limits um, on the creative freedom of God. To say it, it as St. Francis of Assisi, we consider some earthly creatures as brother and sister, um, why couldn't we also talk about extraterrestrial brother? Um, he would also belong to creation, as you were saying, too. You see? Hmm. Why not? Yeah, I don't think it would contradict, like, after hearing that and just, like, thinking on it. Because if, like, God created us and God cre also created, like, aliens and extraterrestrial beings, like, we, like, come from the same creator. So we're, like, brothers and sisters in a sense. What if he created them first? What if their timeline started before ours? And we compare notes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we go I'm back to say that. I was like, oh, go back to the notes, I guess. Of like their history. Yeah. 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 Of how it all kind of turned out. But so do, you, do you notice we always assume that aliens are more intelligent than us? I mean, what if we met them? What if they're not? I know, yeah. they're not. And they're like. What if they look exactly like us? Oh, oh no, that'd be creepy. So have you guys oh, ever seen like, uh, Legends of the Fall? No, yeah, no, no. There's like Earth One, Earth Two, Flash, Flash. Oh yeah, Flash. so like Earth One, Earth Two, Earth uh -huh. Three. It's like so, a, the multiverse. Thing. Yeah, <gasps> and so there's like multiverses. You know, it's yeah. like different Earths that are out there that are like us, but doppelgangers that have like different. No, it's like it's based on it's based on like like if like like right now like if you if I if I like weren't to come to the podcast I'd be doing mm -hmm. something else I would create oh, a different like time different timeline. Oh. That's so weird. The, mm -mm. So the timeline changes. So let's say in the event of like Stacy and I, like we never met <gasps> or um, no. or she said when I got down on one knee, you said no. Like you would change <laughs> our entire time. You know, it's like. Yeah. You know. So there's like there's like there would be an infinite number of like different universes where different possibilities. Happen. Oh, that's weird. Where, yeah. Wait, yeah. what if. Oh, my gosh. People, but, but like what if an alien does look like you? And like they're walking around, like exactly like you, yeah. just on the other side of the universe. Yeah. What, or are they here on Earth? Like they're here. Some like what if they come down to visit on Earth every and once in a while? And they're just like you. Just like you. Well, have you seen Have you seen the movie Interstellar? No. Yes. Oh yeah. So do you know how they're like fifth dimensional beings and they're able to like they're able to like but, construct like different things? Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they can. So they can. They have the ability to like alter time and alter different <gasps> things like that. But they're us. But they've just evolved. What? Yeah, what if that happens today? Because time and like I'm just they like come down. No, yeah, I know. I know. I, time, is a very, like, time is a whole nother movie. a whole nother can of worms. And time is just freaky. Because when you go into space, time changes where it's like, oh, this planet is like light years away or whatever. What does that even mean? Like yeah. Yeah. you know? Well, because For, I think time moves slower. Slower in space. But we see what I can't wrap my mind around is like if you look with like a telescope, let's say we get a strong enough telescope mm. to see a planet so far away. Mm -hmm. Are we seeing it right then and there? Or are we seeing it in the past? We'd be seeing, seeing it? it in the past. Yeah. Even if we saw like we could look and see like this table on a planet. Yeah. 
Because it would be, it would be, it's like, it's like if you see a star in the sky, so the light would, be, yeah, it would be the light. It's so like the light would be. Isn't that crazy yeah. to think about? Yeah. It's like wait, it's so, what? <laughs> so <laughs> you know, my mind is like, <laughs> I know my brain hurts. Yeah. So like, what if we what? looked? Like we looked at something, it would be looking like what thousands of years before, or million years, yeah. Before, or because whatever. time's slower. Because time's is slower. up there. So what if we can look and see Earth, like Earth one or Earth two, what we where we were a million years ago? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Before. No idea. Doppelganger two. I just think I just think time is a very interesting concept too. Just like yeah. especially like with space and like mm. I would love to affected. talk to an astronaut because I feel yeah. like they have more or like people at NASA or whatever because they have more. I would want to talk to the people that are um in the space station. Yes, that's um or space yeah, the one that's orbiting. I would want to talk to them. I feel like they've seen some gnarly things. Would you go? Like yes. let's say, oh gosh, no. Yes. No. 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 <gasps> you you would go? go? Yes. Space? If I wasn't married, yes. okay, hold on, hold on. I was like, <gasps> oh. If you were going, if they said, okay, because they're doing signups, I guess, for, for Mars. Yeah, for Mars. Would you go Elon, to oh Mars? Gosh, yes. No. I would pay 100% if I had the money. I would go in a Okay, let me, let me put Are it in serious? perspective. Yes. If they said, hey, Jenna, we will send you to Mars, but we can't take you, we can't bring you back. It was nice knowing you guys. Like you, oh, ha- you, you have to, like you have to yeah. sign a liability waiver of like, if you die, sorry. Yeah. I mean, like, what's the, what are the chances that will ever get to go to space like because we're not astronauts so like what are the chances I that mean, we're you can, gonna ever go you can try and be an astronaut if you, you know want. how many years of schooling mm-hmm. that is and training and it's like and still you don't yeah, yeah i would want i would want to in a heartbeat i would pay the hundreds of thousands of dollars elon I is think, charging i think we need to fix the problems that we have on earth before we yes i'll go away and escape the problems and go to mars and you guys will never see me again okay but that doesn't mean that the problems still aren't happening on <laughs> i know earth. So i'll send you guys postcards <laughs> so it says there are 565 people that have gone men and women that ventured into space mm-hmm. and um and 32 have died going up. So there's a 1 in 20-ish chance of you dying going into space. I'll take my chances. Are you serious? Yeah. I no mean, oh, it would be it would be beautiful like yeah. to see just like imagine yeah. like you get to see what life is like beyond earth and you get to see like God's creation outside okay. of like earth. Let me see. So, and nobody's going with you. It's just you. You can't contact us. You can't. Oh, eat. yeah. That w- I would love to. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, how about you guys? If I, it would just depend on like what would be happening in my life. Right now. Right now? <laughs> Comes down right in the life team room. <laughs> they're like, Christian, we want you. <laughs> I would. You know, they're like, right Christian. now, I'd say no, because I feel like I still have more to do on earth. Mm. Okay. They're like, this is the only chance you get. I'd be like, well too bad <laughs> well too bad i'll just like go to Moha- i'll just go to mojave and close my eyes and be like oh, <laughs> oh. Come here. oh. nope count me out what? i don't i don't even like flying on a plane oh see i love flying on planes That's and i get claustrophobic i'm like i can't breathe get me out of here no thanks. what if they said we'll take you to our planet like and just instantly it's like almost like teleportation and, but you can't come back. No. What if like, they like enslave you in their planet? I don't know. I mean, you just, but what if know. they worship you? What if they're like human beings? Okay, Jenna like? G. <laughs> She's like, I can already see it now. <laughs> Queen of Mars. Jen- Jenna's no. clearly been thinking about this for no, a little bit. No. I know. No. She's been planning this okay, out. Okay, here's an idea. Have you guys seen the movie Passengers with um no. Jennifer La- Oh, okay. Well, yeah, and Chris- wait, we uh, have. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Lawrence and... I've seen it. I forget who the actor is. Chris Pratt. What if we're like that? What if we're all stuck on a space station together, floating in space, but like we can still like live and survive and talk to other people? So like, and there's all, aliens with us. So like the world? No, just like a just... select few people. It's oh. like fifty people on a space station in space with aliens cohabitating as one. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know if I would. I don't trust aliens. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know what they're in. in I think there would need to be a bond built first. Yeah, unless like there was like a thousand years like with aliens. You I know? just feel like mm. I watched too many movies and I'm like, they're going to experiment really? on me. And yeah, that's why you come prepared. Just like know how to fight. Strapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would I, do it. I don't know I don't if I know. would. 
Um, Live a little, guys. Come on. Face. I don't think I would. And I, like, if they came down, well, Stephen Hawkins was even saying he's like, you, we would not. You, if they made contact with us, my advice would be not to contact them back, because his Why? his words and not mine is it would be as though, um, like, uh, like Columbus and the Native Americans meeting. Like yeah. oh. we would be the Native Americans, and, and you know they would yeah. shove like, us out of our yeah. Land. They they would just yeah they'd be. I wouldn't like that. They it, it, they're so far advanced in technology than we are. You know, it's like yeah. that they would be able to like. See, Jace, we need an underground bunker because I'm not ready for that. Mm, underground bunker. Just, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. And that's the thing is like so many people with these doomsday, you know, preps for everything. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you a statistic that like the the scientists over in um, not NASA, but at the observatory kind of gave. So there are over 400 billion stars, right? So 400 billion stars. With a hundred billion planets. Oh my gosh! So a hundred billion, like that's that's huge number. Okay, so let's say that only one percent of the hundred billion planets, just one percent of them, are the right distance from the sun. You know that that could sustain life. You oh, know? okay. So that one that would be one billion planets. One billion planets, right? Okay, so let's say one percent of that can has an atmosphere so similar to our own it's like that comes out to be 10 million 10 million planets right let's say one percent of 10 million have the elements that can produce life so mainly h2o mm -hmm. so like hydrogen and oxygen um that's a hundred thousand planets so the percentage wise they're saying looks good the you know extraterrestrials yeah. are out there. See, we all. I believe do you it. believe in aliens? Uh, I believe the chances are good. Because I'm like, okay. we we should have had somebody who's like gung ho. No. no, I don't believe in yeah, aliens. Yeah, we're like no. Mm -hmm. And here they're yeah, and here they're reasoning. We're all like, yeah, they're out there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, if you guys drop a con, drop a drop on the comments of if you're a no of of why, um, or just contact us. We'd love to hear why you're <laughs> you're a not. Um, so w what was interesting that father Gabriel was saying to father Jose Gabriel, what he was saying too, is maybe the aliens, like we don't know this. So maybe mm -hmm. the aliens never fell, meaning their Adam and Eve never decided mm. to fall to sin. So they're, they don't mm. need redemption. So they're the favorite planet is what you're saying. Well, no, I'm saying, <laughs> I mean, favorite. Christ loves God, us all the same. God favors them. <laughs> but like, wouldn't that be interesting? Is like these aliens, like they're, they're good. They're only good. Yeah. God tried it here and was like, well, uh, right, let's, let's try it on the next planet. <laughs> next planet. Earth next two. Planet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Interesting. That's interesting. So God can create anything. Um, but one of the, the theologians was saying like God can create anything, but it, it has to have a, it cannot have, sorry, it cannot have a logical contradiction. So for example, it can't be, God won't create a four sided triangle. Like there's, there's no such thing as that. It's a, it's not, a, it's a log like logical contradiction. Um, so life outside mm. um, is possible. And what's interesting, I did, I, I, I followed a tech talk, uh, TED talk on um, microorganisms in Antarctica, oh, right? Oh, gosh. And so there are microorganisms that are in Antarctica that are under the ice, like that are living, uh -huh. that live in a vacuum state, and that if you took them outside into space, they'd be able to like survive. Really? And thrive. Ooh. Is that like deep into the ice, it's like ten thousand years yeah, ago? It's, mm -hmm. it's like deep, deep into the ice, like ancient waterfalls. Look it up, TED Talk. Yeah, um, oh. but the, yeah. the ocean is very interesting too, because that's like that's like space, but like like it's here because like we've only, we've only oh yeah, yeah we've totally only, believe in that too. We've only seen yeah. how how much of the ocean. What's like the percent? It's like twenty percent. Something. It's, like, yeah. it's so tiny though. Yeah, and it's like we don't have the capabilities of being able to yeah. see things. You know. So on to that topic mermaid merman thoughts yes totally i think it can or something similar to it can exist i'm gonna say no oh <gasps> why think it jace if we've only, seen, if we've only seen like 20 percent or 14 percent think about yeah. like the like the but over like nobody's ever seen 
Just something. because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not Ooh. real. Just like our faith, right? Fire, okay, Stacey. Geez, this is why I didn't want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> also, well, think about this. If we, we can only sustain a certain amount of pressure, what if they can only sustain a certain amount yeah, of pressure as well? They so they have up. to stay at a certain depth. Mm-hmm. But wouldn't they, are, are they intelligent beings? Well, like that's us? what I'm saying. So they, I think I think it can like be similar or look similar, but I don't think. So like a gorilla that evolved the opposite. Maybe. Well, so, I don't know. Maybe something just didn't, maybe something evolved in a different like manner of like, in like a different way. Yeah. Yeah. Because like with, like with Christian saying, like we only seen certain parts. I took marine biology senior year. So. Oh yeah. So you're an expert in this. Yeah. So I'm pretty much an expert <laughs> in this. So let me tell you. Dr. Jenna. Oh yeah. yeah uh huh. So basically, um, like it gets darker as you go deeper. Oh, does it? But <laughs> okay, <really? laughs> funny, funny. That makes, that makes so much sense. Now. <laughs> funny. I didn't think about it like that. Yeah. Whatever. But at the bottom, um, of the water there's like steam like vacuums like steam holes and there's other um we can't go down there since like the pressure and all this light and stuff but basically what my teacher was telling me that um there are like fish mutants of each other down there that's what i picture too i don't think mermaids or mermen would be would look like us yeah i think they would just look like freakish fish with arms intelligent or not i would say they weren't intelligent not, are they are they strong are they like bulk why are they like huge they <laughs> <laughs> poseidon yeah whoa okay <laughs> okay Aquaman is what we're getting jason at. momoa so we are going to come back we're going to be talking a little bit more about the mermaid merman loch ness monster and book bigfoot so catch us on the other side All right, welcome back. We are still talking about mermaids and mermen. So if you are out there and you are big mermaid, merman, or maybe you are a mermaid or merman. <gasps> Imagine they give views down below the water with their like shell phone and they listen to all shell things HD. Jenna, oh my you gosh. Watch that. Jenna's been watching SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes. Imagine. No, I, I am against the the myth. But of why? Mermaid. Because we would know. Like, no, we, would we just, wouldn't. There's there's undiscovered down. species that wash ashore with like tsunamis. Yeah, but there's yeah. so so think about like And the that's pressure. like still surface area. I mean, no. what about like way down in the deep? Yeah, those wash up. They die and then they come up. Like, yeah, but the again, they up. were undiscovered until they wash up in a tsunami. Okay, but th- but those creatures are n- not like huge creatures. They're the like megalodon. Small. Okay, Jason, There's, I just like, I just like, looked it up. We've only explored five yeah, percent of the ocean. The giant yeah. squid. We've only explored five percent. Five percent of the ocean. That's a that's a good amount. No, it's me. not. If you get five percent on a test, you think your mom's gonna say that's a good amount? <laughs> But I mean, okay, think about this. How much percent of the ocean is like nothing is there? We don't know. Well, I don't yeah. know. That, think about, think about, the, okay, but think about the, like the microorganisms and stuff like that. That would be there. Okay. So, okay. So the pressure of, that it takes, you know, down at the very base of, I mean, how many miles down is the water? I've Far. No the further, the person. deepest point a man has ever reached is 35,000 feet down. I'll, I'll find the deepest part in a second. But, like, the pressure yeah. that well, that yeah. is down there, like, nothing can survive. The fish well, adapt think to of, it, Yeah, though. think yeah. about how they'd adapt. Evolution. They'd probably have... They're small, tiny, like... No, but they'd probably... If there was something bigger, it'd probably have thicker skin, and its muscles would probably be a lot more, like, diff- shaped yeah. different. Yeah. Due to the and fact they all that breathe would, differently, too. Yeah. But if it... Uh, I, just, I can't... Their lungs would probably be coated in something. Yeah. Think about it. So, are we talking megalodon? Are we talking mermaid? Are we talking boat? Just the ocean. Just the ocean ocean in general. There's so many mysteries in the ocean that we have no clue about. Is there any intelligent life other than dolphins? Other than dolphins? I think there's there's a maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the maybe. You can't train. be a maybe. You can't be on the maybe train. You're a yes or a no. I'm a no. If I was a betting man, considering we've only <laughs> considering we've only explored five percent, I'd say yes. You'd say yes. What yes. do you mean by intelligence? That they are not like us, obviously, but mm-hmm. like, like conscious. But they they have a language, maybe. They, well, all animals have a language, don't they? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Well, like they have like some sort of. Way to communicate. Yeah, well, isn't that a language? Yeah, I guess. Okay, so. then what? <laughs> Do you mean like conscience? So, like I don't know. Conscience. No, I, I didn't want to say conscious. They have everything except a conscience. How about that? So like they can like, like a that's nerve animals system? now. 
Yeah, but they're like really highly intelligent. Okay. Well, Wait, know. what? Okay, maybe. I think are. mermaids <laughs> and mermans exist. Yeah, same. Now, if you could take a submarine and go all the way no. down in the ocean, <gasps> I would like my, literally hit the bottom. I think of my head would explode. I don't know, but like you were in this. I don't know. Elon Musk made a submarine. Oh yeah, and you could. I trust you. Survive the way down, but there's no guarantee that you would come back up. Would there be food and stuff for me to survive in the submarine? Yes. Because no, bye I'd guys. Get, I'd get tired I'm going of that. down. I get tired of that. I feel like it's different. Like, and you would see things down there that no one else has ever. I seen. I would want to do it. If I could see the megalodon and it's still alive down there, you better believe I'm are going you down there. Gosh, Jenna, yes. You are. Yes. Live a little, You're guys. risky oh over goodness. there. Yeah. Come on. I feel like I'd get really tired of just like, well, it's water. <laughs> like, oh, really? I feel yeah. like it would just be like, well. But you saw like the mermaid and merman and you saw Megalodon and you yeah, saw these things. I feel, like, I feel like we're closer to exploring the ocean than we are to exploring like the rest of our ocean than we are to exploring like the rest of space. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, because well, yeah. it's so much closer to us. It's just a yeah. matter of developing the technology to do it. Well, that's what wasn't Elon Musk saying. Like we have, we have the capability of doing it. We just don't have the plan. Yeah, mm -hmm. like we can do it. We just don't know how or yeah. something like. They don't know how lines. to execute. Yeah. Like, to get it. Which is interesting to kind of think about. I don't know. I wouldn't. I. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that risk taker of going down. I wouldn't go down. I wouldn't go down. I'd go up, but I don't want to go down. I would do <laughs> you would both. go up. I'd go wow. to space, but I wouldn't go. They up. said you can live in not like okay, not like live, but if you were to go into space. I don't think you would die immediately. No, you would like suffocate it. I think. Or no, it's like a vacuum. How long? How well, long? you'd have to have enough oxygen in like your space. Oh, with like no suit. With no suit. Oh, with no suit, you yeah. would suffocate. Oh, you'd also you? probably freeze to death. Yeah, you, it's freezing. Well, yeah, it's cold. A little, a little chilly up there. So yeah. at most, an astronaut without a suit would last about fifteen seconds. Oh, that's longer than I thought. That's I a thought long. It, I thought, I it, thought was it was instant. instant. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was. Oh, when you were saying long, I was thinking you know minutes, not seconds. So no, if it was, I feel like if it was instant, up. you'd like blow up. You'd like like get Blow incinerated. Up. No, you get like incinerated. I feel or something like that. It's that's what so I think. Cold. Like instant. Oh. oh. I, I feel yeah I feel like you would blow up that's yeah. what I my when I was a kid really I, I, I think of like heard. freeze like no, yeah I think freeze, freeze. Oh, you would freeze too but not blow up I don't think. but it would be like your blood everything the oxygen your blood everything would be gone like oxygen yeah. how many of these just, ideas have been influenced by movies <laughs> that's Everything so is that? true movies influence our like thought process so much yeah because everything we're talking about has been in some sort of movie yeah, was, I think yeah. and that's yeah that's just an interesting. I don't know. The only the only filmmaker I trust is Christopher Nolan because he actually does research Did for like everything. No, he didn't oh. do Transformers. <laughs> That's Michael Bay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, who is this? What he made Inception, this the movie Batman? about dreams. He made Batman movies. Oh, that, that. He did um, Interstellar. Oh, dang. and um, what else did he do? Oh, those are good movies. Yeah. Oh, those yeah. are blow your mind movies. Yeah. All right. They like our. It's just like it's he makes very interesting, movies, especially about like dreams. Dreams is a whole different interesting yeah. topic. That's oh, a whole yeah. we can talk about. Oh, That's gosh. a Sigmund Freud kind of topic Dreams? over there. Yeah. Um, okay, switching the topic. Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster. Thoughts? Yes to everything again. Really? Yeah. Okay, I say yes to Bigfoot, but Loch Ness Monster. Megalodon? Is that I Megalodon? Know. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Okay, wait. So, okay, Megalodon lives in the ocean. But where... Loch Ness Monster they, is, is, yeah. in, is Loch Ness in Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Scotland? Oh. But supposedly Heavy there's races. sightings in other lakes too, not yes. just that lake. So I like believe Michigan. it. Michigan. I believe it. You believe it? I believe both. So stay, you both, you yeah. Stacey and yeah. Jenner are on, on the yes. Christian? I'm going to say no. On both? On both? I think it'd just be on... No Bigfoot, to Bigfoot? Bigfoot? Bigfoot's, okay, Bigfoot I think is an interesting one because I feel like people have like searched for it for like, a very long time. Oh, well, Yeah. But, like, they haven't really found anything. And all the stuff that they have found has been just, like, people dressed up in the suit. Just, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, like, running. You know, I might, I might take it back, too. Because I used to be a big Bigfoot believer. But now I feel like... Wouldn't he want to be found? I don't know. Maybe he... Just like, guys, it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Just let me in. Aww. Have you guys seen, uh, what is it, Harry and the Hendersons? No. No. Oh, man. Somebody's going to be listening to this. I think it's Harry and the Henderson. Sorry. Uh, it's like Bigfoot and the family finds Bigfoot and he's like. What? Bigfoot lives with them? It's hilarious. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. 
But yeah, so Bigfoot. Well, do you Christian, believe in it? I'm a no on both. I'm gonna say no on Bigfoot. Actually, I'm gonna be a no on both as well. What? Am I the only? Yeah. Am, are you yes on both? I'm Loch Ness Stacey? monster for sure. Talk I'm a yes me, on both. Talk to me why you're yes on, on both? both. Because a Loch Ness monster feels like it would be simple, like an evolved eel or something. Mm. I, I don't know. Like giant eel. Like if there's a giant squid in the ocean, yeah. why can't? Oh, there I think be... that's different from like the the Loch the way that like people like think about the Loch Ness monster. Like I if... feel like when I think of the Loch Ness monster, I think of like 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 four fins on like the side of its arms and like a long neck. Yeah, and like really? a big body. I mean, look I don't at alligators. What if it's like a giant neck? Like yeah. a giraffe of an alligator. I just yeah, feel like, like if like we. Dinosaur. Yeah, if we had out. dinosaurs, dinosaurs are so freaky looking. Like, why not one that That's survived so in water? Because we don't touch. Well, because it only lives water. in lakes and stuff like that, and yeah. that water isn't really deep. That's why I'm. But I like think the water is no. salt water, so maybe it found its way out. Oh, if it was like a lake, <gasps> lakes. Some lakes are salt oh, water. Yeah, some lakes are salt water. I don't know. No, no, it's not for me. It's I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm a no. It's a yes for me, dog. Loch right, Ness monster. Me, yeah. Okay. So she's like, I've seen him. I know. <laughs> I went to Sequoia's on my way. <laughs> I went camping. I had a, I had a math a teacher. I saw Bigfoot <laughs> and the Loch Ness monster. No, I'm joking. Sorry. My PE teacher was. <laughs> he had a really long neck. <laughs> no, actually. So I was watching a movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Harry Potter, to be exact. Okay. And there's a film. There's a part I forget in which one. I think it's Deathly Hollows Part One, where they um I they're forget. riding this Loch Ness monster. I'm pretty sure. Mm. But that's what I imagine. If you guys ever seen it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. The Loch Ness monster looking like it almost it almost looks like a dragon, but in the ocean. Is this the same movie that they ride broomsticks? Yeah. And cast oh, okay. spells. And cast spells. Yeah. Okay. Just just curious. Just confirming. Guys <laughs> trying to make fun of my movie. No. no, but okay, but I'm saying the Loch Ness monster. I believe it because I feel like, um, just as like the ocean is undiscovered, I feel like there's so many hidden like little um lakes or like Like rivers or whatever and pockets in like jungles do you think there are people living underneath us no underneath us like lizard people like i don't know like like subterranean no no No. wait flat i'm just kidding (laughs) oh gosh no i don't think people are living underneath (laughs) us if people were living underneath us i don't know just asking. No, because no, you can do like the like the like the subsonic thing, like oh, into yeah. the floor, seismic, and, like a seismograph. Oh, yeah. and but Bigfoot, yeah. come on, guys, Bigfoot's real. Are you serious? I don't know. No. Yeah. I Just used like a to hairy be totally man. gung ho Bigfoot, and now okay. I'm like, mm, okay, know, yeah, man. like people like dress up to like you know try to make them seem like they're Bigfoot. But let's be real. What? Okay, let's just say this is the image, the famous image of yeah. Bigfoot. But let's just say like, what if it wasn't Bigfoot? It's all fun and games till you're wearing a Bigfoot suit and get trained. <laughs> didn't they already disprove that? Yeah, they that one's didn't. fake. That one's fake. I thought. Yeah. No, they said so. The research that I found, I could be wrong. Uh, the research I found was that it could be a prankster because somebody, so they, <laughs> they did a, um, uh, like the footprint that was, that was a prank. Somebody mm-hmm. did it and yeah. they found that out in 2002, I believe it was. But this, they said they believed that it was somebody just in a prank and he's just like, Whoa. okay, well like, see now, what do you say to people that have witnessed this stuff that have witnessed like the Loch Ness yeah, monster? Call them crazy? Yeah. Or like people that are like, you know, I was abducted by aliens and like, I think that's the proof, there's a, okay, or there's like a movie I called, saw Big. I think it's called like Fire in the Sky. It's like know. it's about this guy that gets abducted by aliens. It's a very interesting movie. I don't know what I would say to him. I'm gonna pass up on because that. like no 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 because like, <laughs> in, like no it's because it's based on a true story oh. and it's it's about this guy and like they they have make, make him take like a polygraphic test and everything and like and like the guys that were around him that saw him get like abducted and like they all it all came out, off as though like they were telling the truth. Yeah, like how do you explain that? Yeah. I just I, I just think people are crazy. You think okay. like five people would be yeah. crazy? See, I think so. If they're all working like this, if they're all like lumberjacks and they're working the same I mean, job in the let me let me put it this way. When I was, I'm not gonna say it because I don't know if kids are listening, but when I was younger, I would look into the sky on a certain day, me and my cousins, and we would see um, something moving in the sky or a red light or something. We'd be like, oh, <gasps> And we get super excited. If everybody, I'm just, I don't want to like, and like give it away or whatever. But it's like we would see this and we'd get super excited. You see things. I think people see things. 
all together. All together. Yeah, all of my cousins. I remember we were looking <laughs> maybe up Maybe you mountain. saw something. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> if it was just you, I'd be like, okay, maybe, yeah. maybe you're... <laughs> okay, you're making it There's so up. many things I want to say right now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So let me let me give you some statistics, though. Uh, and then that, that leads me into a, a different point of, like, believing people and, and what they kind of are saying and different things like that. And then having also proof and, um, and, and church-related about the saints, you know, and about the miracles that they kind of produce. But with Bigfoot. So the only thing that they they um they had that was like really substantial mm-hmm. evidence was this like hair, like this hair mm-hmm. fiber. You can look it up and everything. But it's this hair fiber that looked like longer hair and it was like on a skin of like something. Okay. So the FBI actually got involved and they started mm. investigating into it. In really? 19, in 1976. And they did an investigation. I think it was John Ryer was the guy or the, Brian um, was the guy that did it and or that gave them the sample. Um, and it was like the most fa- – it came from kind of that most famous sighting and everything. Um, and if they were doing this investigation, um, isn't that kind of like a smoking gun like – something must be out there yeah. that well, no they ki- they killed kennedy <laughs> oh, oh my gosh no i think that's what like my thought process is on it like okay if bigfoot wasn't real why are like the gov like why is the fbi gain involved in trying to like not search but like understand i guess it or whatever like investigate into it so you can still hold that belief but what they came back and said was it was deer hair sample that, that sample. Oh, what so. if they were interested? What if they were just bored? They're like, you know what? We'll yeah. take it. 1970s, I, there was a lot going on in the 1970s. was a lot going on. <laughs> nah, I just feel like the government tries to find stuff before we find it mm. so that they know they and can, can yeah, our, maybe like deal with it behind the de-escalate. scenes. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, think about think about how much technology they probably have that's like like advanced compared to like, like our iPhones and stuff like that. Or that they'll just like slowly like release to the public. What mm. if, let's just say, what if Bigfoot was alive, but he's dead now? Yeah, I thought about that too. Or like Bigfoot's dead. Like, they're, like back that's in why the no day. Sightings, I yeah. Guess. That he was, yeah, alive that, that back in the 1976 day. 1976. Where or did they supposedly like see Bigfoot? Like, where did he, he or she live? Um, I'll have to look. It live. Because I think it was, um, the Sequoias? No. <laughs> Sequoias. I can't, you can't go wrong with, uh, it was, uh, Pacific Northwest, so Oregon, Washington area. <gasps> I don't know. Okay. I'm like in the middle of like teetering more towards a no now for Bigfoot. No. I don't know. We'll I leave that know. up to everybody. You don't know, man. You believe uh, Bigfoot, but that leads into a different discussion of kind of like within our within our faith life, we have so many different miracles. You know, um, if you don't know of any of the miracles, like you can just look up like Catholic Church approved miracles. Yeah. Um, and so we have miracles that are done by the saints that are done by um they're all done by god but like through the intercession of the saints and and all of these different things um do you guys have you guys heard of any miracles or i heard of a couple that happened at lords in france Mm -hmm. i think it was someone they were i remember right like paralyzed or something like that yeah and they got out and they started walking if i'm pretty sure there were 70 um, that are approved like by the church um, in in the 70th one was actually February 12th 2018 was when it was oh. approved what happened with um, that? so it was this woman and she uh, her name is she's a, a French nun and her name is sister Bernadette Moreau so Bernadette interesting enough mm-hmm. um, and she'd been fully uh, so she was suffering from spinal complication, which rendered her in a wheelchair bound and fully disabled since 1980. Oh, wow. So fast forward 28 years. Uh, and the only thing that she took was morphine to just control the pain. And so fast forward, she went to um, Lords and sorry, she went to Lords. Like it was 2000, I believe it was something around there. Um, and she never asked for a miracle, she said, and she went into the water and she remembered feeling like this surge through her body and she was relaxed. Um, and when she returned to her room that day, she said, take, it said, take off your braces. Like she heard a voice say, take off your braces. And she was 79 year old. Um, Mm -hmm. and she 
got up and just started walking. Oh, Felt fine. That's so crazy to um, me. So yeah, that was one. There's there's been a ton like throughout like with Padre Pio, Saint yeah. Francis, yeah. CC, like um, all these different ones. That, uh, there was one in Lords again where a man was blind from a mining accident, so it was like blew up, killed. I think it was his brother that was next to him, oh, wow. and like he lost the sight of in his eye. And this was when Bernadette was actually still alive, and so he went to the Lords and Bernadette and got the water from the ground and uh, mixed it with the dirt, rubbed it on his eye. And then he washed it off and he could instantly see again. So it was like, it's just interesting. And so there's ones that are like from longer, like long time ago and sooner. So what are you guys thoughts? Miracles of the church. I mean, do we believe that they're like, like real? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Talk to me about them. I mean, <laughs> like at like, um, for Lords, um, I like, I know a lot of people go there and, what was it? The approving process takes a long time to see mm-hmm. if, like, it's even true. So, I mean, like, that backs it up in a sense. But, like, how, like, you can't explain it where it's, like, you go in paralyzed and mm-hmm. then you go in the water and then you come out and you walk again. Like, how else can you explain that besides it being a miracle? And, like, other people's other people witnessed it, too. So, it's, like, those people aren't lying. Like, you're not lying because people saw it happened yeah and so i mean has any have you, have you guys been to lords no no, no. Lords. Oh, only you um Lord, yeah i went to lords and it's like crazy like people have so much like you really see kind of the faith in people you know it's like you get into lords and it's it's a pilgrim town like people are coming in to like go to lords that's why yeah. that's why they're there and so it's like the the trains will come in and they just like their doors will all open and you'll like carry literally there are teams of people to carry people off wheelchairs by like the not the gurney but the um like the board or whatever they put them on the board and they just carry them all uh, the way to the the lord's site um and people have so much faith kind of going into it and it's it's incredible of like and the process is they go in, and this is me kind of just off memory, so it might be a little inaccurate, but they go in and they say, I, I had a miracle. So it has to be instantaneous if it's at Lourdes. It has to be instantaneous. It can't be like over the last three years since Lourdes, I've been getting better. It has to be yeah. like right then and there, instant you know, healing. Um, and then it has to be um, something that like, obviously it has to be proven, you know, that it wasn't like drugs that you were taking or like anything. a proven diagnosis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, but they tell them, okay, take a year. I think it's a year, or three years to like go back, get stuff and then come back to yeah. us if you still think. And so like many people, they do that. They come back and then there's this, it's a Lord's medical commission that documents. Um, they said they document it. They've documented to date, which I don't know when the, um, this article is but over 8,000 extra extraordinary like miracles that have kind of happened Mm -hmm. but they've only said 70 of them um by their commission has not cannot be explained meaning it's a miracle you know in other terms and so it's just crazy to kind of think about like there's no medical treatment there's nothing that was done they just like instantly got better is the board made up of just catholics or is it no it's 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 all different yeah so it's they bring a bunch of the the person that leads it obviously is catholic but all of the scientists have to be unanimous in that um that they believe that this this is had to either be something extraordinary or it, there's just no scientific explanation of how this happened. Mm-hmm. Um, if they do, like maybe there's one or two people that say, you know, this could have happened. Then they say, okay, like, and they tell the person, this is what they were telling us. They tell the person like, this may be a miracle, but you know, like obviously we have mm-hmm. to kind of like make sure and all of that. So, um, so if it, it has to follow the rules of, uh, so th- whether to determine it should, it, it's a miracle, um, it has to be outside of like this natural cause of things. Mm. So, yeah. Interesting of like, and miracles have, have Stacy, you were in Rome. Did you see any miracles out there? <laughs> Did I see any miracles? Oh my goodness. I think everything's a miracle. <laughs> I'm like, just because it's not incorruptible body. Yeah. I'm like, just because, uh, it's not, um, like officially identified by the church. I think people experience miracles all the time. Mm. Um, but yes, where tell us a story. 
I think I was <laughs> in, gosh, I'm like blanking, but the places that we were at. I don't want to name Sienna. Oh, Sienna. Yeah, Sienna was one of them where um, they have the hosts um, kind of displayed because they, gosh, see, and I don't even remember the stories. Yeah, so the hosts were, I, I don't know the exact one for Sienna, but I think it was something along the lines of like the hosts were, they fell or they were stolen, I think, and then they were, um, they were brought back and then the host, so they kind of put them in this adoration chapel because they were brought back or something along those lines and they've been there for like, 600 700 years or something something crazy so it's like that these hopes hosts haven't deteriorated over this you know large amount of time oh, wow. and then like the incorruptible body so if you go to like rome and stuff is like you'll see bodies that just look like they're sleeping like, well you went to padre pio's um yeah. grave didn't you Isn't yeah that if, crazy? if you're listening to this look up padre pio like right now like try to find him right now it just looks like he's sleeping yeah. Like he's legit it's just so like laying crazy. there. You're just like, Hey father, you want to wake yeah. up confession? Like, it's a whole nother world to, like, you know, hear the stories about the saints and everything they did. And then to actually go there and mm-hmm. physically see them in person. It's a whole nother world. You're just like, it just makes your Catholic faith a little more tangible because there's history right there, right in front of you. Yeah. So it's crazy. That's and it's just... insane. Like, of all these different reports of like, like here's Padre Pio just sleeping. No, he's a, he passed away. This is this is 2016. So he's he's this is over 50 years or something. Yeah. Oh my god. So gosh. it's just like it's just incredible to kind of like see these these saints and you know and their stories. And then if you go, they have these reliquary rooms where it's like people they put up like a heart if they it, it, like not approved by the church, but if they did something to kind of like do miracles and it's like Padre Pio or St. Maria Goretti, like they have these huge rooms that are just like hearts everywhere. Like, oh and they're gosh. all these gold, silver heart and they're everywhere. And then you see like photos of different things of people wow. and they, they're walking sticks and str- like, like tons of different things um, that are all over, but it's just incredible to kind of like see just these great saints and and it, it kind of plays off of this kind of alien-esque kind of thing it's like we do have to have the faith of you know of like that supernatural this some sort of supernatural cause mm-hmm. this to happen so yeah i don't know that's just crazy like looking at padre pio's like body in a sense hmm. and it literally looked this his skin just looks so like smooth and like normal still yeah it's just like 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 he can wake up yeah Yeah. i don't know that's crazy to me and they have him in uh, like i hate to say like display but they have him in his church like Mm -hmm. san giovanni rotondo so it's like a huge pilgrim site so i wanted to um just kind of end with that is like make sure you guys are are looking into kind of our own faith and like the extraordinary little things within our own faith and the beauty of kind of the little um the caveats of the miracles you know of like there's there's so many things with um and we can we can probably talk about this on a whole another episode but with the eucharist and like um with the blood that liquefies um every year on saint january's uh, feast day like and all these different little things and obviously the the miracle of like um, Lords and the miracle um, in uh, blanking Portugal, um, the dancing of the sun. Medjugorje? No, Fatima. That's what oh. it is. Um, oh. Fatima. And then just all the miracles, you know, with St. Juan Diego and with all of these great saints. Like our, our faith is so deep and mm-hmm. it has so much evidence behind it. Um, and that's what a lot of people need is, you know, is that evidence. They We are all... In a certain sense, we're all like St. Thomas Aqu- or St. Thomas, um, uh, where doubting Thomas, everybody knows yeah. him as, um, that you know needs that proof. Um, so thank you guys for joining me and exploring no the universe. <laughs> or Let's do it next time. Yeah. Multiverses, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll probably talk about this a little bit more. We're going to talk a little bit um, come October, a little bit about halloween <gasps> and some things long circulating around halloween and all of that uh so it has been fun thank you guys uh for being here um so all of you guys that are listening don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at holy trinity life team and then also follow us on instagram 
at lifeteen underscore HT and follow this podcast, like it and share it with everybody. So we will see you guys soon. Until next time, God bless. Deuces. Take care.